What's good everyone, you dig, four eyes, two Gs here, and following up on my video on Uzi's tweets yesterday, in this video I wanted to touch on them from a different angle and focus in on this one tweet that was directed at Forza, who Uzi added to the public as a person who has been behind the leaking of his music. No, they won't. Firstly though, let's add some context and explain who Forza is for those of you who don't know. So, working on Dying are a producing collective based out of Philly, who Uzi would begin to get close with after Love is Rage 2. The collective consists of people like Ugi Main, Filthy, and during this Eternal Attack era, he's been heavily associated with their sound, with them producing a ton of Uzi's music in recent times, like the recently released Sanguine Paradise, as well as numerous other leaks and snippets. And before Forza was found to be selling and leaking Uzi's music, he he was a part of this clique also, and has produced for other people like Blade and Playboy Cardi. And as anyone who has been following Uzi throughout this Eternal Attack era would know, leaks have played a huge role in the narrative of this album, with there being countless leaks of Uzi's music, both new and old. And with Uzi adding Forza to the public, we finally have a name to blame for at least some of these leaks. Although it's highly unlikely that Forza was responsible for all of the leaks, it's safe to say that he was responsible for the work in Undyne related leaks, some of which include included of course, 1600, Fake from the Jump, which were all produced by him. And this is honestly such a conniving move from Forza, like Uzi working with Working and Dying in this capacity gave them all a huge shot to change their lives and go to the next level, and essentially you just throw it back in Uzi's face for some fast cash. And the irony of this situation is, is that Forza did this for money, but Forza having produced insane songs like 1600 or of course, would have made more money from an official release of these songs when they came out. Out, plus not to mention all the exposure and all the extra producing he would have got from these placements rather than just the upfront money from selling the music. And on top of this, he betrayed his own team, he betrayed Uzi and just acted in such a foul way. So it just wasn't worth it at all. And before we go on, a quick shout out from my Instagram. Big shout outs go to Diego Victor, my G, I appreciate that. Thanks for showing love. If you guys haven't yet, do make sure to follow your boy on IG. Shout out to everyone showing me love over there. I appreciate that. You guys are goats. Reminder about my merch, we got the Cardi and Travis merch tees on deck. They're fire. Links in the description to cop if you're interested. Also, all the standard YouTube stuff, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you guys don't miss my content. But let's keep going. Now, what's been interesting to follow since the news has been the response from other people. Firstly, to touch on is Forza, who has had his social medias gone private and unprivate. However, he would tweet this right here, suggesting a suicide. And at this point, I don't think he has, and I hope he doesn't do this. And I do hope he can get in a better state mentally over time as he comes to grips with what happened, how we can progress from here and all that. Because of course, it goes without saying, suicide is never the option. Secondly, is the response from working and dying themselves. Their manager, Finesse, would take to Instagram to respond to this situation. Essentially, in the video, he said that they had known about Forza's actions for quite some time now and have been taking appropriate actions behind closed doors to handle the situation privately between them, Uzi, and the labels. He also went on to explain that Forza is no longer a part of working on dying. Forza acted alone and working on dying do not support his actions or the leaking of music in any way shape or form as well as saying on twitter that working on diane and uzi are still working together what makes this situation even worse is that forza in the past had been acting ignorant on social medias about the situation in this tweet he was complaining about the leaks of his music stopping him from getting an official drop these tweets have not aged well and just paint him in an even worse light furthermore bugs ronan a producer who has been a victim of leaks with tracks that he produced like run it up dolly and everything lit leaking had something to say about the situation and said that he wanted to fade Forza for leaking his music. And this goes back to what I was saying before. The impact of Forza's actions aren't confined to only Forza. They affect him. They affect other producers. They affect the working on dying team. They affect Uzi, Uzi's label. So it's really just a selfish decision. And no matter which way you try to cut it or slice it, it just isn't good for anyone involved. And I can't outlaw this move from Forza enough. Pretty much one of the shadiest moves you can do as a producer. And as I said, a huge betrayal of trust. Overall, it's definitely a bizarre turn of events in the narrative narrative of this eternal attack era and for now hopefully the bigger leaks are behind us we don't see any big ticket songs from uzi leak anymore and we can push forward past this moment and uzi can deliver us something on his own time but 
that's all for me today guys thanks a lot for watching if you guys haven't like button hit that subscribe button hit that turn on those notifications as well you guys know what's good more videos on screen right now make sure to check them out if you haven't